Hello, check, check, one, two. Hey guys, the Bitcoin Cash community. My name is Cameron and I am leading the repolishing of the mobile Android application for Electron Cash. What I have here is uh, pretty much an onboarding task flow that I would like to get some insight from the community since this will be open source. And so here I have a little bit of uh, delightful colors. Um, this would be the welcome. So once you touch the icon in your mobile uh, phone for Electron Cash, this is the idea of a non-zero state. What I plan on putting here is informative um, vector art, uh, maybe describing Bitcoin Cash, maybe describing Electron Cash and securing your wallet and your pass, your seed phrase, uh, maybe the BEP20. This is where I'm reaching out to the community because I'd like to know what we should put here. And so as you can see here in the welcoming, um, this is all wireframe. There is a very minimal um, aspect of design involved, um, especially with my mid five prototypes and wireframes, forgive me. Um, I try to make it as visual as possible. Um, what we have here is this X would be an obvious uh, input for image. Um, I'm using all very medium colors. Um, like I said, I'm trying to focus on um, the task flow here and the architecture of the new Android Electron Cache application. So what we have here would be a slider. You could slide your finger left and or the slides will change after a 300 millisecond delay, which will then lead you to getting started on the third slide where you tap get started button and this is where you're going to get this default getting started onboarding. What we have here are three options, actually four if you want to touch help me. Um, we have the import using seed phrase, we have the button for creating a new wallet and we have a button for using a master key. So let's say that we touch importing a seed phrase on that getting started. We're going to tap import seeding phrase and then obviously entering um, important relevant information that needs to be uh, put in. So we will have three options just like the original application has where you'll be able to click down right here and you'll have the standard, you'll have, what else do we have? the multi-sig and the private key for importing. So you must have this information already. Um, so long story short, you put your wallet name in, your password, you confirm, press next. Here, you're going to have to put in your seed phrase, your extended customer words, if you have that, and your BIP39 seed, if you have that as well. We also have the opportunity to import by scanning a QR code and this will take you to where you all where it all begins to your home wallet now say you are importing your user seed phrase for a multi-sig same thing goes relevant information needs to be put in there then we are going to have to be choosing from, this is where I'd actually really like to get some more insight on, are we going this direction where we move these, this bar across um, for the number of cosigners? And I believe there was something else involved. Forgive me, um, like I said, this is a wireframe, so there's not much uh, microcopy context. Um, so this will all be put in once design is distinguished and our requirements are set. So once you do that, you're gonna have this pop-up overlay for adding one of two cosigners. So you decide to create a new seed for that. You press okay. Now, here is your new wallet seed phrase. You wanna write this down, pressing okay. And whether or not you wanna extend your phrase, and then you are going to have another pop-up to copy your master public key and or write it down. This will actually be the uh, copy to clipboard icon right there. 
Um, so after writing down your seed and or extending your phrase, tap OK. Two things are going to be possible here. So you enter your cosigner key. This is just like the original application. Um, we need insight here on whether or not do we continue with something familiar like this or can we pack it all in and make it more simple because we want more simple for the idea of not only the novice and the new user but also the avid experienced user just to get through things quicker and feel secure and confident about it. So once let's say you click down and you enter cosigner key you want to press OK add your cosigner key or scan your QR code right here or press OK to the home wallets now say you chose to add your cosigner two of two with a cosigner seed you are going to enter something familiar just like originally in the uh, standard with importing your seed. So I guess you will know what to do here, but you're going to enter your BIP39 seed and we'll also put a uh, icon here so you can scan your QR code or maybe just put the option here. Let's just do it right there. Scan QR. All right. After adding your second cosigner relevant information or scanning your QR, which would also bring up your QR, um, I forget what you want to call that, a little pop-up menu. Um, it's going to take you to the place you want to be, your home wallet that you just imported. Now, the last option here for importing your seed is you're going to click down on this thing and you had your options for multi-sig and standard we're going to choose import private key for your information you need to enter that uh, then you're gonna continue um, entering oops I've got myself a there you go adding your relevant information or scanning your QR code pressing next if you do add the addresses themselves this will take you to home wallet as well okay so this is all importing your seed right here. Now, granted, we have three options once we enter your getting started page. Let's create a new wallet. So we've got the button to choose, create new wallet. Our standard version, everything is default still. Into this motion, adding your relevant information, pressing next. Then. Creating a new wallet is a little bit of a different, more onboarding process, a little bit more extensive. So you're going to have information regarding securing your wallet. Hopefully it's relevant and uh, you take it with heart and you don't discredit it. But if you decide to, you got to remind me later right here. Okay. So let's just go back and state you press remind me later. Now you're gonna have this new slide that's gonna ask you are you sure you really want to do this do you want to skip this you're gonna boop click on that you either skip it or you go back to secure so let's say you tap skip we're gonna identify what a C freight is why it could be important you say okay I got it I don't really want to do all this stuff yet and then we're going to teach you how to protect your wallet. We just want to make sure you're making the right decision here in uh, guidance to opening your wallet. So if we go back up here, we have securing your wallet for standard. You decide to press next because you are going to secure your wallet. We're going to have more information about securing your wallet. You want to press next after reading that info. You're going to have more information on writing down your seed phase, but we're also going to offer put in a new effect in blurring this out and you'll need to click on this button to see your seed phrase. Once that pops up, this is going to be idle, the next. So this will be idle in re until you click on the view. So idle until proven otherwise. You click that button, you're gonna start seeing your seed phrase. Here's your 12 word 
C phrase. You're going to write this all down and you're going to press next. Once you do that, we're going to start confirming your seed phrases with selected words. So with this example, I'm just using the third. So obviously third right here is win. You're going to boop, click win. This will show up. Three is when you press next. That's confirmed. You're going to do this three extra times um, with selected random words that are in your 12 word seed phrase just to confirm that you got it all down. Once you collect, you confirm all uh, selected words, you're going to press next and you're going to get yourself a success on creating a new wallet, which will have a, about a 300 second millisecond delay. Take it to your own wallet and get started there. All right. Now there's two other wallets you could be creating creating a new wallet, obviously entering default information. As you can see here, wallet, password, confirm password. You're gonna do the same thing again, and just as like if you did on importing your seed phrase, with multi-sig, you need to choose the number of cosigners. Uh, with this roll bar, um, also thinking about maybe even putting a progress bar for these creating new wallets which will be even cooler. So this is going to do the same thing for you. Just as we saw up here, it's going to give you information about securing your wallet. You're going to have to click view, press next, and then here you go through the whole process of creating a new wallet for a multi-sig. Now what's different here is that after you receive the success in creating a new wallet, you're going to also come back to a, a familiar slide back in your uh, creating new wallet with multi-sig. Now you're going to have to tap to reveal your public key view. This will be idle until proven otherwise. And your public key will be here for you to write down as well as copy to clipboard. Copy that. Let's just say you click that. Copy to clipboard. Press next. I'm um, sorry. I, these are very important. I want to continue to show this. Now you're going to enter your cosigner key here. Wow, enter that in XPub, I believe it's called. And or choose scanning. Where is that going to take you once you get there? That's to the home wallet. Like I said, this is all just for onboarding. And now now let's state that you um, decided to type in your XPub, I believe. This, oh, enter your cosigner C, my apologies. So here you have your enter cosigner key and you have your enter your cosigner seed right here. All right, I just need to rewrite that so I know what I'm talking about. And you're going to have that familiar place again where you type in the seed phrase, maybe you extend it with customer words, custom words, and your BIP 39 seed. And all relevant, you click create. And that's going to take you to your home wallet as well. Now, the last one here for importing, or I'm sorry, uh, creating a new wallet familiar place I'm sure enter default wallet information with your wallet name password confirm click next or tap next because this is all in. you're gonna put in your addresses and or scan QR code if you type your addresses in you need to press next if you scan your QR you have the opportunity to press cancel or if it's uh, confirmed with the QR code it's going to take you to the same place as well. Your new home wallet. Last but not least on that starting, getting started board, you have use a master key as your last option. So you click or tap on that and you're going to have this very familiar place, your wallet information at default. You press next. 
and you have a very familiar place again. You're going to put the addresses in or scan QR, press next if you type in the address, and here you are, scanning the QR and or pressing next, it's going to take you to your wallet. Now, what we have here is uh, what I find to be relevant. I'm not very familiar with Electron Cast, so I'm reaching out to the community to hear from you guys because you're most important. Um, this will establish the success of the Android app. It's a repolish. Um, we're adding new feature and um, we're bringing in old feature as well. Just make it a little bit more sexier if that's what we're going for. But yeah, from you guys and further on, I'm excited to hear from you and where we can go, how you feel about this. If I'm missing anything, um, please comment, uh, leave however, reach out to the community and I'll be there reading, listening from you guys to make this a uh, reality, all new and designed. All right, I'm excited to be doing this. This is onboarding for the new Android application for Electron Cash. Thank you.